converting a fraction into percentage and vice versa. Now, we've learned about fractions earlier and we've learned about what do you mean by a percentage in the previous video. Okay. Now, many a times you might be getting some fractions, right? So let's say we saw the famous examples of apples. Okay. Now, what do you mean by a fraction? Right? So let's say you had to take two out of five apple, or whatever you might call them. Okay? This would mean that you are picking these two. And you write this as two upon five. If you were to mention this into fractions, right? But what do you mean by percentage? Percentage means per hundred, which means what would have been the situation? How many apples would I have picked up if instead of five there were hundred apples? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And you know, there were just these rows, there were basically 20 rows of five apple each, right? So let's say for example, if there were 20 rows until here, what would have happened? Still, you would have picked up two apples for every five apples, right? So let's say you picked up two apples for every five apples. So what would this mean? This basically means that again, you are picking two out of every five apples. So you pick two here, two here, two here, and so on. So basically, what you are picking up is two fifth of these hundred, right? And percentage means per hundred. So whatever number you had, you have to, I mean, if this is less, if this is less than hundred, or even if it was more than 100, you have to refer it to 100. Convert it into an equivalent 100. So basically, I need 2 fifth. 2 fifth is the fraction that I have. Okay, 2 out of 5. Now, because percentage means per 100, so 2 fifth of 100, we just multiply the fraction by 100. Okay, now 5 goes into 100 how many times? 20 times. 2 goes into 20, 40 times. And we just affix a percentage sign over here. Right? So to convert a fraction into percentage, you just multiply it by 100, okay, and put in the percentage sign. Let's see another example. Right? So let's say you had a fraction 3 by 12. So what do we do? We just multiply it by 100. 3 will go into 12 how many times? 4 times. 4 will go into 100 how many times? 25 times. So 25 percentage. Right? So this was basically converting fractions into percentage. Now let's see the other way around. So let's say you have 30 percent. Right? 30 percent means what? 30% means 30 out of 100, right? So what's the total number of item? Total number of item is 100. And how much percentage we are taking? We are taking 30. In fractions, when you have to write, what do you mean 2 out of 5? Which means 2 divided by 5. That's what we have written here, right? 30% means 30 out of 100, right? So what do we do? We just simply divide this 30 by 100 and we just remove this percentage sign from here. If you cancel out, the zero knocks off with this. So in a simplified form, you have it as 3 upon 10. Very simple. How did we do it? Just divide by 100. Let's take a last example. 
So how do we do, what does this mean? 25% means 25 out of 100. So 25 out of 100. 25 goes into 100 four times. So 1 upon 4. So we've converted these two percentages into fraction. Right? You can try similar examples back at home. 